We are excited to show you our newest social tool called Minds. Now, if you have a chart open, go over to the right side rail here. Now, as you know, this rail is where your watch list is, it's where your alerts are, and it's now also where our newest social media feature called Minds is located. You can see our mouse here, go ahead and click, and the Minds feed will open. Well, why is it even called Minds? Here's a way to think about it. You are putting your mind together with other traders and investors. You are sharing what's on your mind and you're doing so for a specific symbol. Now on this exact chart, we, were, we are looking at Tesla, T-S-L-A. So you can see here, this chart is Tesla. If you look at the mind social media feed, it's a Tesla chat. So you can chart and chat about this exact symbol in real time with other traders and investors around the world. If we were to go to Apple, for example, let's click Apple. Now, as you can see, we have an Apple chart here with some drawings that we made. We'll actually delete this to make it more simple to visualize. And on the right side is the Apple Minds. In fact, a new mind was just posted. So we have this little blue notification. If we click, we can now see the latest mine was posted. This user has shared a link to an idea that he recently published. So on the mines feed, you can find what people are talking about, what they're sharing, what they're saying about a specific symbol. Now you can also update, upvote specific shares. So if this chart is interesting to you, you can click it to see a larger image of it. Well, you can click upvote. If you wanted to leave a comment, well, there's a comment icon here that you can click. And now here's your comment field. So you could write, thanks for sharing this chart post. And the comment is there. Click this arrow to go back. And this is the new Mind social media feed. Why don't we head back to Tesla now? And here is the Tesla Minds feed. This looks like an interesting post, so we can upvote it and sort of support their post. This trader asks, where do you think the bottom is? And we can respond and we can say, where is the bottom? Great question. And if you look, Tesla is down. Let's click year to date, percentage, almost 60%. So great question. Tesla is down. 60% YTD, can it go much lower, question mark. And then post, and now we have responded to this trader. And this is Minds. You can look at any symbol and see a Minds social media feed. Now some Minds feeds are not filled up yet. Some are more filled than others. Well, here's BTC USD. As you know, Bitcoin is a really popular symbol globally so this is the btc usd mines and you can see all the posts and traders in here now there's another place to find mines and to interact with mines but before we show you that keep in mind that you can also see the user profile in mines so as you're reading through these mines and you're curious about what people are saying hover your mouse over the user profile to see their follower account and number of ideas posted and other facts about them while also following that trader if you want or they could be an investor, sending them a private message, or sending them TradingView coins. This is all possible just by hovering your mouse over the user profile in the Minds feed. Now you can see here, this account's already got minus two on this post, and that's probably because this post does not have much information. That is really key about Minds. Minds will thrive if users are posting actual information, links, charts, and insights that help other people understand what's going on. The more contributions that are made to Minds Feeds, the more interesting and reliable they will be. One quick tip is this, and it's important to say, always do your own research. Question everything you see in these feeds. Ask them questions, upvote and downvote them. 
fact-checked, fact-check what's being said. At the same time, you can use minds as a way to gather some form of sentiment about a specific symbol. Is what you're reading bullish? Is it bearish? Are the majority of people bullish or bearish? And you can use this to sort of gauge the sentiment of a specific symbol. Now, minds, as we mentioned, do exist currently on the right side rail. We just showed you that. But there is another place where minds exist. If you find yourself on a symbol page, for example, let's go to the Tesla symbol page. Now on TradingView, as you know, these symbol pages are filled with specific facts about a symbol you're following. Could be a stock, a cryptocurrency, a futures contract, anything. But as you can see, you can see upcoming earnings, earnings per share, market cap, price to earnings ratio. You can open up the chart timeline, news, ideas, financials, technicals, and forecasts. So there's a lot of information here about any symbol that you care about. There is now another layer of information added to symbol pages, and that is the minds feed. So you can come to a symbol, read about its financials by clicking the financials tab, start to gain an understanding of a symbol's financial performance or the quality of its financial earnings. You know, how strong of a company is it? How viable is it? You can also even look at some quick technicals to see what the technicals are suggesting. And as you know, our technical tab takes into a plethora of technical information from simple moving averages to momentum and awesome oscillator. And now also with minds, you can be on the symbol page and get sort of a social layer attached to your research. So there are already ideas and we've made videos about using ideas. How do you publish them? Think of ideas more like the blog posts about a symbol. What is the long form, re form research saying? What are the charts saying that users are publishing? After all, ideas is very chart focused. You can see the chart here. You can see the chart here, title, text. But now there is also minds. These are the quick chats, a place to share links, to share ideas, to share things that are on your mind quickly. It is almost a real-time feed for sentiment, information, and news flow about the symbols you really care about. For example, you can also see how wide-ranging it is. There is a technical chart here that you can click and open with some facts. And if you scroll down, there is actually some very interesting fundamental research as well. So if you were to click show more, show more, you can read the fundamental research, and that's how Minds works. You can go from charts and technicals to links and news to really quickly fundamentals. So Minds are really a place to chat about anything and everything related to a symbol. With that being said, we hope you enjoy this new feature. Get started in it, give it a try. It's as easy as heading to the symbol page like this or opening up the Minds feed and then sharing your mind. So for example, or sharing what's on your mind, why don't we write a quick post about Tesla as well? If you recall, we commented on another post and let's just remind people that Tesla is down 60% year to date, and there are only a few trading days left in, in the year. Do you think it will bounce before 2023 begins, or will it go lower? Now, this video is being recorded on December 20th, 2022. So the reason why we are even saying there are only a few days left in the year is because... It's December 20th. It's going to be 2023 in no time. So this is a sort of question. This is this is on our mind right now, and we want to contribute this uh, to the feed. And eventually someone will probably respond or upvote it or share a chart or a link. And we look forward to that response. Here it is. You can see TradingView one minute ago. Here's the text. And we are off. So that is the Minds Feed. Please go get started. Give it a try. Share your feedback. And try to meet someone new or try to read some new research. And also, be sure to send a reply. Replies are so important because it's how people learn. It's how they hear feedback that might disagree with them. Or it's how they hear feedback that kind of confirms what they were thinking in the first place. None of those things are bad things. Those are all sort of the steps to gathering more information and doing the research you need to ideally make better decisions in markets. 
So you can essentially use the chart, the financials, and now also this social layer on Minds, as well as ideas. So we hope you enjoy the product. We hope you enjoyed this complete walkthrough. Please send us all your feedback. We look forward to hearing it.